Brian, an event like this is sure to draw protests, of course, and in fact, they've already begun. Yeah, that's right, Dan Ama. We've seen a few the last couple days, and there are two wars happening overseas. Climate change is a threat to our lives, and some of the countries at APEC don't have a good history with human rights. All of those reasons mean you could see plenty of protests in San Francisco next week. APEC, APEC, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Picket signs and a big banner held up by this group near the Moscone Center, blocks away from where fences are being put up for APEC. We want to have a livable future. We want to have jobs that you could support your family with. This group is focused on climate change. They want the countries and corporations at APEC to stop funding fossil fuels. They already placed a banner over the Bay Bridge this week. They say their demonstrations are only beginning. I think we have an obligation because it's such a big conference and so many countries are represented to make sure that the voices of people who are not part of this process are heard. APEC will be San Francisco's largest gathering of CEOs, world leaders and diplomats in decades. Activists have often taken advantage of the attention brought by international events. In 2008, climbers hung free Tibet banners on the Golden Gate Bridge as the Beijing Olympic torch stopped in the city. It was a very adrenaline-filled day that we'd been preparing for for many months. Laurel Sutherland put up one of the banners that day. We have to be very creative as social and, and environmental movements to, you know, take advantage of the, the, the times and the places that, that we can force uh, ourselves into the conversation and make our demands be heard. He thinks the world will be watching San Francisco, and he thinks the world will see what people in San Francisco have done for decades when big events come to town. People will be mobilizing in the streets um, and calling for, uh, you know, an end to the climate crisis, an end to fossil fuels, um, and to, uh, you, know, um, you know, forcing these leaders to address uh, the human rights violations that they're responsible for. The city is preparing for this. Police are already at Moscone Center. Chief Bill Scott says people have a right to protest, but security is front of mind. This city knows how to facilitate First Amendment activity. We do it time and time again. We respect people exercising their First Amendment rights, but we will not tolerate violence and we will not tolerate property destruction. Mayor London Breed also said the city won't tolerate any protest that threatens security. She said the police department is fully staffed with the focus being on maintaining safety. Live in the newsroom, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News. All right, Ryan, thank you.